Hello all the bug lovers out there and today this is the first video of Melbourne Bug Sect and I'm doing a sort of tutorial on the Rainforest Scorpion Lyocellus Wagneasis. I didn't I don't know if I pronounced that right, so please don't um go very psycho on me. So yeah, we should probably get started in this video. Um one thing to know is that when um handling scorpions or anything, always wear like safety gear. Um, and stuff because they can sting you. Many people are afraid of scorpions and this is why I am also trying to show you that scorpions are not meant to be for a fear. Also, um, I know a lot of things about handling them and stuff so just don't try it. Most stings also um, feel like a bee sting so yeah, let's get into it. Here is the rainforest scorpion and as you can see it's quite a beautiful scorpion. Um, this is a photo just from the internet so yes this is mainly because I don't have the scorpion yet. It is going to be here um, pretty soon um, as in like a week. So yeah it's just having a bit of issues with the ordering and customs from Queensland um, to Victoria ish so yeah this is the scorpion and it is going to be going into the enclosure. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Now, as you guys can see, this is the scorpion's enclosure and right now I believe it is 17 degrees, 18 degrees, something like that. Can't see it right now, but this is it. I missed spray it about f every four or five hours, so, um, so yeah. Um, let me just take the roof off. So this is a place map. Just hit. And then I've got the next one because the humidity comes out quite easily. Um, so as you can see there it is. And it was on 17 degrees. So there's one hideout with some moss on it. And some more moss. I don't know if you can see the hole just there. But as you can see my fingers just going under it. That's another hideout. Those are the... Um, what did you use for it? Some plants to keep the humidity well. Also the mosses for it as well. Um, there is a rock for him to climb over and stuff. It's sort of like a bridge because it goes over the to the other hill. Um, and then I've got this one. I have to go outside of it because it's just so much harder. And now this little thing as you could just saw. Its batteries just had, had run out last night. As you can see it doesn't turn on. Um, but it is an infrared torch. And you can shine it around and it will shine the place up so yeah so I haven't sprayed it for about three hours so I'm gonna do that quickly here if you guys don't mind so we'll just get this working again now as you can see I don't spray it that much down here mainly because um, of other reasons but if, let me just get it working again. That's mainly because the temp will get wet and yeah so yeah so what I like to do quickly is see if I can do this quickly put that on and get that nicely on. So pretty good. So yeah um the temperature, the usual temperature that they need would be 24 to 28 degrees. Um, the humidity is 60 to 90 percent. And luckily, this is where I'm going to get two of them, you can house at least a pair together. So, yeah. Yeah, that's. I'll see you in a sec. Now, um, that was the scorpion tutorial sort of thing about how I've done it. The next video would be how I've actually created the enclosure and I will also do a whole heap of a whole heap of knowledge on the rainforest scorpion. So as again its scientific name is Lyocellus wagenensis. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not that sure. By the way, Melbourne Bugs is a website and YouTube channel 
and other things run by kids. So remember that, okay? See you in the next video.